Weighing in at 245 pounds, Ethan Carter, the third EC3. He is the ass-kicking machine, the former two-time world champion. Hope I gotta ask, were you surprised that EC3 accepted this match? He could have just gone on to Bound for Glory in 37 nights on October the 2nd and challenged for the world title. Well, it's certainly not a smart move if you want to ask Hope about it, but I did say during the conversation we had before that if EC3 was a man of honor, which I believe he is, obviously, if he was, he would give this match to the man known as Drew Galloway, who he cost several opportunities at regaining and recapturing the world title. A red hot time in Impact Wrestling. Who will be the world champion when we get to Bound for Glory as earlier tonight in an over the top rope invitational battle royal, the miracle Mike Bennett showed his true colors. He eliminated Moose and he eliminated Eddie Edwards. He will challenge Lashley for the world championship and then Bound for Glory, the winner of this match will challenge the world champion. Brother, the only true color when it comes inside of this ring is green, okay? But that's another story, we'll deal with that another day. Here we go, EC3 and Drew Galloway. As both mentioned, their friendship sort of fell apart when EC3 got involved in a couple of matches that featured Drew Galloway. EC3 would cost Galloway those matches, cost him the latest one at the Bound for Glory playoffs. EC3 would go on to win, and I think EC3 he knows that he cost Galloway those opportunities, which is why he gave Galloway this match. Yeah, that is this evident, you know, and this is the matchup that Drew Galloway was looking forward to during the whole playoff. He knew that it would come down, confident that it would come down to himself and EC3, but yet that didn't play out because EC3 cost Drew Galloway his match. Chain wrestling moments ago by EC3 and Drew Galloway. EC3 yelled tit for tat. At the end of the day, these two, you have to feel that they they, they respect each other, yes? Well, yeah, there's a ton of respect between the two, or at least there was. I'm sure it may be repairing itself in this process, being that Drew Galloway has got, you know, this matchup. Don't know if it'll stay that way. EC3 loses against Drew Galloway again. I don't think it's smart. You got a big match at Bound for Glory, you're gonna risk it. Perhaps not smart, but something that EC3 needed to do. Maybe for himself, absolutely. But I'm like this, Daddy. If it's Pope, hey, let me go to Bound for Glory. Let me hopefully come out on top. Oh. Wow, big slap there. And I'll give you your shot. EC3. And here we go, a brawl breaking down between these two big shots. This the cuffs of flying. EC3 ducks, and here comes Drew Galloway. He ducks the other way, and a collision in the center of this excited ring. That'll take the wind out of both EC3 and Drew Galloway. Who will get back to their feet first? Who will gain control? We'll find out right after this. Welcome back to our main event here on Impact. Here at Turning Point, it's Drew Galloway one-on-one -on -one with EC3. The winner will go on to challenge for the world title at Bound for Glory on October 2nd. The man in the middle is Aaron Rex, and I suppose the best compliment that we can give Aaron Rex at this point is we haven't talked about him at all. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, man, this is big time. Look at EC3. Oh, big shot there by Drew Galloway. My point being that Aaron Rex has been a down great official. Absolutely. Straight down the middle. He hasn't played a factor. He's done the job that's been appointed to him by T. TNA officials, you have nothing to say about that except good job, good officiating. And you see Rex telling Drew Galloway, get it back into the ring. Right here. Oh here with EC3 in our main event, Galloway. He's got EC3 up on his shoulders, Drew Galloway so powerful. Oh, oh boy. No. Thought he was going back into the ring. Galloway's looking for a cut no. cross. No. Oh, the steel steps. What an impact! One more look at what Drew Galloway just did to the body of EC3! Right onto those still steps. Hey man, some chiropractor in Orlando's gonna be paid heftily. Good lord. Galloway's down, EC3 is down, Aaron Rex checking on both. 
EC3 and Drew Galloway. If you got a shot there, the steel steps, they look to be bent in the middle there from the massive body of EC3 just crashing Man, through there. EC3, you're talking almost close to 240 pounds. Solid muscle. Aaron Rex now starting his count. He's at five. Yeah, there is a dip. If he gets to 10, it'll be a draw. Galloway has made it back into the ring, and EC3 can't break the count. Galloway's heading to bound for glory. Rex now at nine, and EC3 barely breaks the 10 count. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, this is a matchup where whoever wins, however it happens, so that uh, uh, a disqualification. And Galloway, that's a pinning opportunity there. Good call by Rex. Galloway broke down the guard of EC3. A disqualification, a count out, whatever. Ooh. That person wins this match. And Galloway was a second away from going to Battle for Glory. And Galloway, that's confidence struck the girl from Drew Galloway as he's stalking and walking around and pacing EC3. Yeah, and you know, not only that, Josh, look at the demeanor of Drew Galloway. Look at the aggression that we were seeing. It just looked a little bit different. EC3 fires away with a big chop. Another one by the former two-time world champion. Drew Galloway with a powerful clothesline. Galloway, cover, hooks the outside leg and a kick out. Nice cravat there by Drew Galloway. Control the head, control the body, and that's what Drew Galloway's looking to do here, and disorient EC3. Aaron Rex right there. Telling EC3, I can make it all end right now if you want it to be over. I don't think EC3 is anywhere close to submitting in this matchup. No, 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 not at all. We've seen EC3 take more punishment than this. EC3 counter there. Both men up, and EC3 with the close line. All about that elbow, EC3's picking oh, up here speed. we go. Flurry of offense. Look at the chin of Galloway. Must have caught EC3 right on the back of the head. Have you ever had that happen to you? Yeah, it doesn't feel too good. And Galloway, pure strike here. Wow. Overhead, belly to belly suplex. Still a lot of muscle left there. Look at it. Look, look. Galloway, man. He's a man on a mission. Yeah, somebody's been busted open. It happened early in this match. I just haven't seen where it came from. I don't know if that's EC3's blood or Galloway's blood on his wrist tape. And Galloway now sizing up EC3. Oh! EC3 side steps and side rushing leg sweep. Right into the turnbuckle. Got to jar the neck. Both men have so many moves that they can use to put away their opposition. EC3 with the one percenter, of course. Also the TK3, Drew Galloway with the Claymore kick or the Iron Maiden submission maneuver or the future Shock DDT. Yeah. Well, he almost put him away when he hit him with that maneuver on those steps. No kidding, the Celtic cross on the steel steps to the back of EC3 from Drew Galloway. Galloway wins this match and goes on to win the championship at Bound for Glory. You will see that highlight for years to Absolutely. come in Impact Wrestling. No doubt about that. Or you may see this highlight. Galloway is looking for another Celtic cross. It appears no. EC3 is trying to hang on for dear life. If EC3 Galloway hits this. is completely upside down on the second rope. EC3 lands on his feet looking for a power bomb and he got him. Drew Galloway stacked up on his shoulders. The referee in two. Oh, sit down. Got him. In position and Galloway kicks out at two. Talk about the power and the strength of EC3 to pick Galloway. He's no small fry, son. He picked him up from that and drove him right back down. EC3 had his eyes on the official, had his eyes on Aaron Rex. When Galloway kicked out, EC3 said, I've got another one. I'm gonna lift this man up off the canvas and sit out, powerbomb him. Not something easy to do. It takes a lot out of you. TK3 perhaps coming by EC3. Galloway lands on his feet. He goes 6-7. Looking for the future shock. DDT. EC3 trying to hang on. TK3 connected. Galloway's still up. Oh, he's out. Yeah, he falls into the corner. That's a great move by Drew Galloway. Best spot other than being on his feet. He's near the ropes. Yeah. event this has been thus far as one man is going to go on to battle for glory on October the 2nd in 37 nights. Rope there by Galloway and he caught him. Yeah, he caught him with the Claymore. The Claymore kick to the side of the head of EC3. Shoulders down and EC3 kicks out of two. Galloway, no separation. Drew Galloway with a oh! sit-out power bomb. What a move and he 
UFC 3 stays alive in 2. What snap did Drew Galloway have on that sit-out powerbomb? He snapped him, Danny. Both men down. We talked about how smart EC3 was. How about Galloway? He realized that EC3 was going to kick out, floats over in a powerbomb of his own. You know, Galloway didn't get that Claymore like he's accustomed to hitting it, so it was very smart of him to follow with another big maneuver. Look at the back of EC3, the welts and the bruises. Just an incredible match. Oh! These two men, they know what's at stake here. We're talking about the biggest pay-per-view of the year, Bound for Glory. Somewhere both Lashley and the Miracle Mike Bennett are watching this matchup. And we got a chop fist. Look at this. Talk about the back of EC3. Look at the chest of both of these men. <laughs> and neither one backing down. It's full steam ahead. Yes, it is. And EC3 now says it's my turn. I'm wondering who's going to draw blood first. Oh, my goodness. Oh, just listen to this. I'm putting my money on Galloway. And Galloway building up speed. EC3 counters. Slapjack by EC3. Pure intensity in the eyes of Ethan Carter the third. EC3 looking for the one percenter, waiting for Drew Galloway to get back to his feet. One percenter locked and loaded, thrown off by Galloway. Claymore! Got him! Galloway got him! EC3's down! Drew Galloway's heading him out for glory! And EC3 gets his foot on the bottom rope. Another cover, Aaron Rex right there, another kick out. Positioning, positioning is everything in the ring. Galloway connected, he wanted to go for the quick cover, but if he took just one second to pull EC3 through the middle, this may be over. Aaron Rex has done a tremendous job of being an official here in this main event. And now Drew Galloway, what is he thinking? What does he have in store? He's trying to get EC3 up. I thought he was going future shock. Maybe he wants to pull a little more torque on it. Drew Galloway, he's trying to get his hands locked. EC3 counters. Good luck. And now EC3 looking for a one percenter. Look at that! Oh! A hangman's one percenter off the second rope. Galloway down, and EC3 was that close. Oh, man, what a matchup we are witnessing between these two athletes. Who is bound for glory? Aaron Rex has been doing a tremendous job as the official in this matchup. Yeah, I don't know. There's been very close two counts by both men, by both EC3 and Drew Galloway. Yeah. I don't know who's bound for glory, but both are bound for an ice bath after this matchup, if not the hospital. No agenda for Aaron Rex. He just wants to see a great match. And now look at this. EC3 is looking for the one percenter. Oh! What? What? Galloway with a tombstone. Oh, come back, we come back. Tombstone pile driver in the center of the ring. EC3 is down, and EC3 kicks out at two. It's not over. Galloway arguing the count. Compressing the spine, that tombstone pile driver by Galloway still wasn't enough to put down EC3. EC3 was able to kick out at two, and now I thought perhaps frustration setting in for Galloway, but he's loading up another Claymore kick for EC3. After you hit a maneuver like that, man, why not? Go for it. He's got EC3 in his sights. Here comes Galloway. EC3 steps aside, and there a big boot. Big boot by Galloway, looking for the future shock DDT. EC3 steps out, check that cover in the center of this accelerant, and EC3 is going to go in a battle for glory. The winner of the match, Ethan Carter, the third, EC3. EC3 put it all on the line tonight. He doubled down. He put his match, his main event opportunity, and bound for glory on the line against Drew Galloway, and EC3 can head to our biggest pay-per-view, fully thinking about the world championship on October 2nd. He defeated Drew Galloway in the center of the six-sided ring. In the end, it wasn't a big move that secured the victory for EC3. It was quick thinking, it was smart thinking, and it was EC3 that came out on top. Kudos. Aaron Rex doing a great job as the man in the middle, the referee, raising the hand of EC3. Every man in the ring can be proud of what they did here tonight. Absolutely. Classic, classic matchup. Class in the ring. Classic officiating. Everything was just 
Just classic. So EC3, he's going to bound for glory. He's going to challenge for the world's championship. A warrior.